Welcome to Sister Energy Vibration um, reading for the birthday peoples for the week of the last week of May 2018. And I want to say thank you um, to all you Geminis. Thank you so much. Thank you for your likes, shares, and support. Please remember to listen to the June reading. There's going to be a lot of information coming at you. There's going to be a lot of things in June that you need to open up your eyes to. Okay. Please, please, please. I'm asking you guys to be aware of what is coming up in the month of June for you guys. I love you, Geminis. So, this is your birthday reading for the people who were born on the 28th of May until the 3rd of June. I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back let's see what is going to be coming up for your new year okay so um, remember that um, the year uh, the general year begins on the 1st of January but as of your birthday so if your birthday is the 28th your new year for 2018 will begin on the 29th of May the day after your birthday or on your birthday but it's when um, it changes okay so this is wonderful because the week um, you guys oh this is very important to say all you Gemini's are going to work on duality okay you Gemini's born um, on the 28th of May until the 20 on the 28th of May until the 3rd of June um, in this year what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring for you guys is that you're going to be working on dualities you're going to be working on um, your shadow side okay because Gemini's are twins so you're going to you're going to balance in out your twins in this year this is very very positive please make sure other people receive the energies of this video because this is going to be um, a positive videos because people needs to know if you were born from the 28th until the 3rd of June the year 2018 you're going to be working with two your two um, aspect of yourself which is the Gemini's or the twins so it's gonna be very very high so that means your psychic is going to be coming in very very strong in this year okay um wonderful okay let me look at your year fantastic justice the wheel of fortune um the star and the sun it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be beautiful people so we're gonna go in and look at the energies that are coming in for the people who were born on the 28th of um on the 28th of um june um you have a positive energy for the year you have the energy of justice and balance okay so let's say that you have been dealing with some um, some situations um, the energy of justice is going to be coming in I should say that your zodiac energy is going to be because this week energy is week of the lovers so this is wonderful so oh my god you guys are so so lucky because the energy of this week is the lovers you're going to be working with um and see <laughs> i just said it and you guys are going to be working with the dualities okay so this is going to be positive so let's see for the people who were born on the 28th you have the energy of balance coming in and let's see what else is coming up for you guys you have happiness and joy so um, for the people who were three of cups so a lot of happy um, celebrations is going to be coming in so for the people who were born on the 28th you have the energy of justice the energy of justice the positive energy this means that you're going to be balanced out your, your masculine and feminine feminine side because the um, the um, twins are actually the male and female aspect of yourself it's a good and bad as the is, 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 is your mighty I am present self and the ego of who you are so you're going to be learning to balance that out and bring it in balance okay because you have the energy of the hanker it's going to be good with work for you guys work is going to be wonderful and you are going to be celebrating big time in this year so 
positive energies coming in so congratulations for the people who are born on the 28th of May there's going to be the year 2018 is going to reach you in a very very positive motion so you are going to be the one ending 2018 balancing out the the um, the toy aspect them uh, you know you're going to be merging your mighty I am present your masculine and feminine aspect together you're going to be merging the twins together and then they're going to become an identical twin so you're going to be as one with yourself okay this is positive this is good about work this is good about stability in your life this is wonderful energy about work and stability in your life but it's also um, to let you know that whatever you begin now it's going to last for a very a long time okay wonderful so let's go ahead and see what we're going to be having coming out for um I'm trying to figure out a way for you guys to see this so I'm going to look and see what is going to be coming out for the people who are born on the 29 now you have the energy of nine you're working with the energy of nine so what is happening is that your spiritual um, you're looking inside for inner wisdom and guidance so how can you balance out both the aspect of the masculine and feminine and this is going to be working out very beautiful for you because it's going to be a year where wonderful positive things are going to be coming out okay then you have a positive energy that is coming and this energy that is coming out is basically um a, a positive one I don't know I, I, I don't pick cards I like to ask um, what is going to be coming out for you guys so you you're going to be working with the hermit so you're going to be finding inner wisdom and guidance I see a lot of movement for people I see a lot of people traveling overseas I see a lot of um, people going on vacation I see people um, leaving for work temporarily overseas and that sort of a thing um, you have another major arcana which is temperance and balance because some of you are not going to um, feel comfortable being away from your partners um, some uh, you know there is going to be a lot of changes that is going to and um, not all Gemini's like changes you know this is like Quite kind of weird for you Gemini's not all Gemini's like changes but a lot of changes will be coming in a lot of movement a lot of traveling a lot of movement be ready for this because this is going to be happening for you guys in 2018 this can be um, in a, emotions and guidance um, because the hermit is here and the hermit is going to be helping you to make changes about yourself it is a year of spirituality for you so this is why you need to either prepare yourself for a physical or a mental move or a psychic move okay so you will be changing um, positions this could be that a lot of you are going to be um, connecting with the unseen world this can also happen when these uh, three comes up so it's going to be a real deep spiritual month for you guys so hold on tight a year hold on tight because this is going to be good because at the end you're going to be changed for you know you're going to be really changed you're going to be happy that you have you have gone through um, that sort of a situation because you are going to see positive changes coming in your life you're going to feel different as a matter of fact for the people who were born on the 30th of May you have the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is a very very positive energy and what is coming up for you guys with the wheel of fortune is the energy of the Sun and this is going to be absolutely wonderful so um, for the people who were looking forward um, this is going to be a very very lucky year for you guys whatever the situation is it's going to be extremely lucky because um, you are going to be seeing things very very clearly now so this is going to be good so whoever you are happy birthday to you the person who were born on May 30th have a wonderful birthday a wonderful year is coming up for you um, your wishes and dream luck is coming in but as I've always said um, if you're working on a negative energy whatever you give out this is what is coming back okay so it can be a very very lucky year for some people but if, if you were working against other people and doing negative things of um, expect the same thing coming back at you this year and this is this is a weird thing with the wheel of fortune and the Sun whatever 
if you're positive it's gonna bring you luck unexpected luck things good things coming in at you but if you were working against other people you are going to be receiving the same thing ten times the fall okay so be aware of this but this is wonderful um, what you guys have that we of fortune with the Sun and finally you're seeing clarity to a situation this is brilliant okay so we're moving on to the people who were born on May 31st and I, you know congratulations you guys are very lucky and this is what you guys are not aware of because um, three and one is four four is the engine of the angels so um, you could be a earth angels that is on this planet at this time helping out and what is going to happen is that a lot of um, hidden secrets are going to be coming out a lot of hidden secrets are going to be coming out and it doesn't have to be secrets it can be information is going to be coming at you be aware of what you do because I am seeing a reverse energy the energy of the the hangman and it can be good because this with the energy of the hangman in the reverse it can be saying that you're connecting with your spirit guides and you're receiving a download of information on the other hand it could be good contracts coming in it could be you making um, good um, 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 you making good decision about things wonderful positive things but if you're studying and you're um, you know you're finishing your study you're going to be um, you're going to be successful so it, let's say you're doing a study or you know you're finishing off your study you're going to be extremely successful you're going to come out with honors okay this is going to be extremely positive you're going to be coming out with a lot of honors so this is going to be good so wonderful really wonderful and really positive energies even though you know because a lot of people wants to see um, the energy of the Pentacles but with you receiving um, information and um, this information can be downloaded to you you can use that information to be very creative and to bring forward something positive um, that can help humanity so not to worry about this it's going to be an, a very very positive energy that is going to be coming in for you guys okay wonderful I love when I get the the energy of the book because and some of you could be writing a book some of you could be publishing a book and this book is going to be very very successful now hold on hold on for the people who were born on the 1st of June okay I don't know but congratulations because no one has ever received this energy the energy of the star for your year that is going to begin 2018 is going to be beginning on the 2nd of June for you so that is when the year 2018 is going to begin in. expect that your wishes and dreams will come true okay so if you were born on the 1st of June this is going to be a wonderful year especially for the women and for the people that 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 um, carries a, um, a higher female um, energy vibration because this is just going to be powerful and then guess what you receive another energy of the star so <laughs> you men and women that was born on June 1st congratulations wonderful energy positive energy this is going to be a year of perform luck that is going to be coming up for you it is going to be so fantastic that you are going to it's going to be unexpected things in a positive way but remember again if you have been um, you know doing um, negative things to people like working against people and doing these sort of a thing you're not going to receive this blessing it's as if the stars are lining up for the people who has been very positive who has been very um, <clears throat> working from a positive place but if you have been working from a negative place you are going to get the reverse of this energy that is coming out it's going to be a good year and this is what I've always said to people be aware of what you aligned yourself with especially um, um, you know people have to understand that whatever they do um, is coming back and this is a positive year especially for the ladies so you ladies kudos to you that have been uh, you know doing positive work but if you have been doing 
things secretly and you have been trying to mess with other people oh that is what is going to be coming back to you and this is going to hit you like a brick so be aware so not to say that you guys are going to uh, mail me and said yeah but you said I will get a positive year and it was not that good yeah because you haven't been honest to yourself whatever you were doing to others that is what is coming back to you so congratulations to the people who were born on the 2nd of May this is a wonderful energies to have your intuition is going to be extremely high in the year 2018 because the energy of the moon um, guides you and protect you because um, the moon and the lovers are two of the significant so you have an energy of water twice because you're an air person but you have the energy of water twice and what this is doing for you and this is opening up your intuition your psychic is going to be extremely power a lot of people are going to have new beginnings um, for a lot of people and this new beginning is that your psychic is so open up that you begin to see beyond the, the veil of illusion so this is positive for you guys some of you are going to be pregnant and having new babies and they're going to be crystal kids okay who are crystal kids these are kids that are highly intelligent that comes in to help this planet and help also you to heal your family bloodline and this sort of a thing yeah don't be think there is just my neighbors upstairs they always do that so um it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive okay and then what we have is the seven of pentacles so this is going to be good because what this is doing for you in this year is opening up your psychic abilities but not only that it is showing you things that you weren't seeing before and this is going to be help you in a positive way I'm seeing people having twins um, yeah I'm seeing people having twins if even there's no twins in your family you're going to be realized I'm pregnant with twins okay so that could come from the offspring of your you know your uh, um, grandparents and that sort of a thing but it is very positive new beginnings you're going to be starting something new is a good year if you're thinking about starting a new business because this is going to be positive you have the energy of um the you the you have the energy of uh, um a new start but also of positive energies coming in to help you out in this year okay so this is good because the, the seven of pentacles meaning that you're you're planting something new you're making something very positive for you in your life and this is going to be good congratulations to the people who were born on the third of june it's going to be a very successful year success in business success in work success in your personal life success in relationships success in if you are looking to change location buy a new house these are all coming in is as if success is coming on a higher level for you guys it's as if things start to happen for you in this years so whatever you have been going through for the last couple of seven nine years I'm seeing for some people this is going to be changing in this year and this is going to be positive the men in business is going to be wonderful okay positive 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 so positive the men who are in business the women who are in business is going to be good but the men who are in business you're going to make money um, I'm seeing a lot of promotions for a lot of men a lot of men are going to be making big promotions because um, you are going to be um, finding out technologies and that sort of a thing that is going to elevate you and move you to a positive level I see a lot of men buying their dream house I'm seeing a lot of men understanding how to manipulate the energies I'm seeing a lot of men using your egos and and, and, and replacing it in a positive way and this is also good outcomes the wheel of fortune so a lot of success is going to be coming up for you guys a lot of lucky breaks are going to be coming up so this is just fantastic I love you Gemini's I'm wishing and I'm hoping that you all use the energy in 2018 because this is just extremely positive this is um, like a reading that has never you know basically comes out and whatever is happening is just a lot of positive things that are coming up and this is going to be good okay so 
I'm seeing a lot of money for you um, men, especially um, in um, the, the, you know, I'm seeing a lot of money coming in for you, Gemini's, and I can understand. I'm seeing law to um, um, a strong foundation. I'm seeing the sun coming up. The sun is coming in. The wheel of fortune is here twice. This is going to be a perform a positive year, and you know, um, because you know you were still vibrating in the energy of 2007 after your birthday is the year 2008 now what I'm seeing and this transpire like the last couple of years since 2012 what what happened is that success is here is as if um, people used to have to manifest but it's as if whatever you have been manifesting for years it is now coming in and it's going to come in in a positive positive year and whenever the women and the men come up in a reading with a baby a lot of you are going to be um, getting married having kids that sort of a situation you guys are one of the um, the smartest on this planet and what happened is that whenever you have kids these kids are very smart you know very and and I'm seeing um, because there is going to be uh, there is going to be um, a new set of um, um, crystal kids coming in and you're going to be seeing this coming in that you guys are having this so this is the most perform reading so you guys are so lucky Again, you have twice the energy of the star. Please write these numbers down. You could win the lottery with this. I don't know. But this is a positive. So, um, it's number 17 twice, um, 10 twice, and 19. Okay? So, you have 10, 7, and 9. 10, 7, and 9. So these are extremely positive energies because what is happening is that you're seeing wonderful possibilities, the new opening of a lot of possibilities that is coming up. Okay, um, eight, the number eight, um, wonderful energy. Um, um, this is ten, so you have another ten, so you have three times ten. Um, the number eight energy is here twice so there is a lot of lucky break it's as if the infinity universe is going to bring you guys like really strong positive positive um energies in i'm seeing money the moon is also here so 18 18 add 18 um to your list because it's going to be wonderful and positive the lucky thing about this is that I'm using the angels of abundance here with the angels of abundance they are giving you this message and it's let go of guilt let go of guilt so let's say that you um, guys had some guilty feelings and that sort of a thing you need to just let go of guilt and it says when you allow your light to shine brightly your inspire you inspire others Forgive yourself for what you think you have done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn, grow from past mistakes instead of burying them down on yourself. Okay, because this is what a lot of people do. You know, you have guilt about certain situation that has transpired in your life. Let it go. I have no guilt. I am I, 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 I really really decide that things happen for a reason whatever happens in our lives basically it happens for a reason and whenever we understand that then we can deal with the energies and we can move on and life is much better so ladies and gentlemen you are going to have a profoundly wonderful year I'm wishing you a wonderful year for the year to 2000 and uh, um um uh, 18 and um, please you know if you get pregnant and that sort of a thing please carry the baby forward don't do an abortion because what people do not understand whenever you do an abortion a miscarriage is different from an abortion whenever you do an abortion what happened is that that soul um, can stay with you forever and kind of into you in your life or make it better and it's an English thing that people say, you know, you're walking around, uh, you're a cemetery walking around. So the more you 
you take the life of a fetus because the fetus is a soul the fetus is you know and an, an, a person a person but in the form of a soul whenever you take the life of a soul abortion is taking the life of a soul and it's murder um, it's up to you what you do but I can't tell you what you do if you know you know if you do not want to get pregnant then you need to protect yourself but don't take the life of another person okay because it can and it, it will end you or help you in um, your days before well um, if you are rape because I know people are going to say yeah but yeah but if I was raped okay if you were raped then that's a different subject and even so yeah it's hard to really look at your child and know that you know you have been raped by someone who you don't even know or maybe it's even someone you know and I will not get in that discussion that people's father raped them and then they end up having kids because I think that is just so sick so for the people out there you need to heal this forget your forgive your father if your father have done you this injustice forgive your forget your father whoever you are out there write a letter to your father and let him know how that hurt you and um, heal that situations okay you know um, every day I really 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 um, I mean you know so happy for you know that I can help other people because sometimes you think that your story is bad but then when you hear other people's story it is as if oh my gosh what do I have to complain about open up your hearts forgive um, and let it go it's not easy it's not easy because your parents are supposed to protect you and whenever um, a haunt a uncle of a parents does something like this to you as a child or someone it is something that is very painful that you carry for a lifetime some people it ruins them life some people they can you know work through it but whatever you have to deal with and whatever you have to work with forgiveness is the key namaste have a wonderful year